everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion does not lose under any circumstances on quarantine in 2020. Check it out. Whoa. <laughs> okay, stats are horrible. PGYK BG26, but I'm going oh because we got that Diplopia. Um, 17 rate of fire, 2.77 damage is is honestly comical. Um, that's that's really bad. But one good stat-driven item plus Diplopia equals we win. I know. Well, equals we're in a better spot. Let's put it that way. And I know people probably would prefer that you save Diplopia. This is gonna be hot. <laughs> you save Diplopia. Ah, you got me. And use it for a deal with the devil. I think that can be the right play. For sure, most of the time, probably. But you gotta remember, you know, we're playing a, a balancing act here. We're balancing all of our resources. What are our attributes that we can't afford to take a hit on? Tears, damage. I mean, preferably luck, but I mean, we could realistically afford to. We just prefer not to. Um, yo, I mean, even this is possibly diplopiable. But we'd really rather... Ah! We shouldn't have taken it, but I, I wanted to. Let's save that eternal heart. We'd rather Diplopia after we get a bomb. And then, well, we probably would still not Diplopia that, to be honest with you. Um, so Little Chest pays out with trinkets. Is that correct? Have I learned something about video games? Maybe I've learned something about the video game we're playing. Just give me some bombs, dude. Oh, baby, that's not what we're looking for. I don't even know if, in hindsight, I would like to go in this room. What the heck is going on over there? You know what? No. No. I've decided that room is not worth my time. <laughs> that room is cursed. Okay, what do we not want to face here? Yo, so good. We do not want to face a champion ragman. That's the number one concern. Um, I, I would very much prefer not to face... Let's go. I would very much prefer not to face... Um, I'm just getting myself reset here horizontally so we can do this again. Uh, I guess it's vertically, but still. Um, uh, I would prefer not to face... Fistula, that would be another rough one. Just because with low rate of fire, Ragman, Fistula, you know, some versions of the haunts, they're a little messy. So I would just like to minimize the potential of that happening. We may also decide, hello, it's Champion Ragman. Um, because it, of course it is. Any Anytime, I really think that the Eden runs conspire to make this happen. And I know it's like a bit of a conspiracy theory, but... I And I know that the obvious answer to reply to this is just gonna be, no, it's just, uh, you know, confirmation bias or whatever, you know? You only notice Champion Ragman this much when you are already on a run that has low rate of fire. This is just miserable. Like, I, I know that this is very complainy, so I apologize. This, honestly, just this one boss fight right here, on a streak of 53 wins, just makes me want to X out of the game. And I know we're going to probably be in a good spot to win regardless. It's, it's just tedious, dude. Thank God our range is relatively high. That's all I'll say about that. Um, like... So I, I know what we need to focus on here. Man, one demon heart would go a long way, too. I know what we need to focus on here. We need to focus on not shooting the spiders and instead shooting Ragman because this version of Champion Ragman just spawns spiders endlessly. Um, like, look at this. This, this is horrible. <laughs> you will very rarely hear me get this frustrated, but, like, this just sucks. And it's, it, it makes me even more mad because it's like, it obviously sucks. It wasn't like, well, nobody could have known that this sucked. It's like if you ate Thanksgiving at a friend's house and there's like, you know, fingernails 
in the mashed potatoes. You're not gonna be like, oh, you don't like fingernails? You're gonna be like, you know what? Yeah, my bad. That that's stinky. That's not how that's not how mashed potatoes are supposed to work. Anyway, we're approaching halfway done after about three and a half minutes of absolutely mindless frustration. Um, but we're getting there, you know. I am. I, I've very recently started to become one of those like, hey, you know, look on the bright side sort of guys. Hey, look on the bright side. At least we got those spirit arts before we came in here. Now, does it still suck? Oh my god, yes. Are you kidding me? It's horrible. It's, it's sapping my will to live. I mean, on my deathbed, one of my major regrets will be like, you know what? We could have X'd out of all those champion ragman runs where we had poor DPS. I'd have an extra hour to, like, you know, talk with my family, or, like, just smile, or, like, experience some joie de vivre. My god. He's actually done it. I appreciate the spiders kind of held him in place, <laughs> so that we could get that done. Come on. Come on. Just one at a time. All my life I've been searching for something, something never comes, so I leap to nothing, nothing satisfies, and I'm not that close, closer to the tears upgrade at the end of the road. I'm just... Not mad, just disappointed. Okay, a range upgrade. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Let's, um... Let's go to the shop, because Diplopia can be a, a real slapper there. It is pretty close. But the boomerang is not worth it. So, I, I hate to just take the loss on it, but I think it's the right thing to do. And then we'll hope we get enough keys on the next floor. Um, that it, it takes a lot of self-control to not just eat that immediately. But I think it's better on a good item room with stats. It's better on a... Um... This also sucks, by the way. But hey, let's look on the bright side. We got the Lover's card. This may... Yeah, I was just gonna say, kind of an unavoidable bit of damage there. How do we avoid that one? That's the real question. Um... Deal with the Devil would be good. You know, boss item with the tears upgrade, a damage upgrade. Possibly even a health upgrade, depending on how all this shakes out. Did you see that that incredible real-time puzzle solving we just did? To push the right bombs out of the way? Now that's muscle memory, baby. Oh, it's the hero font. All right. Now, I don't know. Place your bets. Do you think we're going to be out of this floor by the 10-minute mark? We have enough spirit hearts that, in my opinion, we can leverage them to come in here, and we'll just take that. I'm not diplopying five cents, that's just madness. I, I have to kill this guy to get out, otherwise I would be gone, dude. Because I'm probably not in, well, you know what, let's take the pill. Now that we've got it, we might as well take it. Hey, that's actually well worth it, and honestly, the key was really good too. We, we basically 100% need that. So, considering we have diplopia, it's still probably smartest for us to use the key to go to the shop. We could Diplopia a key if there's one in there. We could buy a key for market price. Okay, now this won't be necessary. Okay, well, I'll tell you straight up. If your favorite item is able, stop watching because I'm about to disrespect it. Not something you want to see when you're fishing for a good Diplopia pickup, but it's okay. I'm, I'm trying, like... I've, I got tilted a little bit, and, and it's hard to recognize a tilt when there's no consequences. And we're, we're in a non-consequential tilt right now. We have really faced almost uh, no problem. Or no, no punishment, maybe. That was just my bad on that one. Um, we've, we've really faced no, no strife, even, as a result of my, uh, my predicament here. So I don't want to complain too, too much. But we're also very, very close... To this run becoming a complete disaster, whether we have 4 HP or 100, you know? If we can't kill enemies before they rush us down, or in a situation like this, if we can't kill enemies, um, you know, before they, uh, 
spawn 500 other enemies, then then we got real freaking problems, dude. Two spiders, huh? How come your mom lets you get two spiders? It's another weird one. Because um, we don't really want to double tarot cloth. I don't think that actually works. However, it's like... Tarot cloth is insanely good. So it actually might be worth using Diplopia. I mean, this is really like... We're at the season finale of like The Bachelorette. You know? We gotta figure out... What the heck we want to do. We've only got one rose. And we've got a lot of potential candidates. One bomb. Okay, let me let me work on this for a bit. This could be a secret room. It is not a secret room, but hey, we traded a bomb for a penny. Oh, we've already been to our item room. We don't want to do that. Okay. Um, with one bomb, we're going to play it as safe as possible. We've already fought the nightmare boss. And we will not be out of this floor before 10 minutes. This is one where, honest, I know we've talked about nothing but Isaac, essentially, and, and the Bachelorette <laughs> for the start of this episode. Sincerely, um, if there is a benevolent god in this universe, they will give to me Mom's Knife or Brimstone right here. Preferably the knife, because it's a little bit more damage static. We don't need to have good stats to make it good. Brimstone's close, but... You'll, you'll notice I'm not messing around on this run, by the way, because I'm actually, like, not using my bomb. First off, I'd likely miss with it, because this guy is a bit of a, a hopper. But most of the time, I would use it just because I'm a little frustrated, but I'm, I'm doing my best to recognize that the tilt is, is incoming. And it would only... T like, we're off balance. It would only take a small push to get us into tilt status and really jeopardize our position. So, keep yourself safe here. That's certainly not worth diplopying. I would even say that's not even worth taking. Now, this means Marrow is going to be our takeable item here, which again has provided us with no stats, but no hard feelings, I guess. Um, we'll diplopia this. No, we will place a bomb. And then go into the secret room first. Don't pick up that money yet, by the way. It's the difference between one spirit heart and... Well, two spirit hearts and one spirit heart. Um... I mean, obviously we want Pyro, but I'm like, you know, okay. There, there's other ways to do this, but I think this is what we do. I think we do Diplopia right away. Grab Tarot Cloth. Tarot Cloth has given us Justice, which is also extremely nice. Now our money is still good. Now, do we want to buy another Tarot Cloth? No. No, we don't care. Um, so, we'll then use a bomb here and a bomb here. We'll get 99 bombs. And I'd say this was a pretty solid return on investment for Diplopia. Um, and you know what? I'm going to buy another Spirit Heart as well. This is really just a situation where you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. And we've done it. So I, I still think... I mean, that's very nice as well. I still think we got a real spice incoming. But for the time being, everything is okay here. Hold on, I have an urgent Discord message. A cat threw up. I will get it after this video. There you go. Um, now, you might think, NL, now that you've got that Diplopia play out there, don't you feel good? Don't you feel rejuvenated? No, not really. I'm still... Uh, there's a little frustration. And I think that it's fair for there to be a little frustration. I'm not complaining because this is a hard Eden run. I'm complaining because our DPS is bad. You know? It's it's not like... A situation where I'm like, Oh, the food here sucks and such small portion sizes. I'm like, nah, dude. There's fingernails in the mashed potatoes. Didn't you hear earlier? <laughs> Everything here is coated head to toe in poop. We got... How many enemies are in this room? I feel like I've been here for 20 years. So we, we have also created a bit of a problem for ourselves, to be honest. And the way that we've created a little bit of a problem for ourselves is we didn't take a deal with the devil. Now, the deal with the devil was bad. That much is, is known. 
However, by taking it, we would have opened up a pool in the future of, of better items for us to work with. But, like, I don't want to do that. Like, that's like buying a Ferrari so that you can qualify to buy another Ferrari. You know? I mean, I would never do that in the first place because I feel like spending that kind of money on a car just is kind of ridiculous for me. If you like cars, sure. And I'm not really, like, a car dude, so... Would I like to have a Ferrari? People don't believe me when I say things like this, but the answer is kind of like, no. Like, I'm sure it's a nice car, but what's the, what's the benefit of a Ferrari? You know, it looks nice. It drives fast. I don't need either of those. Plus, it sounds like a jet engine. Those don't appear, in fact, if anything, I, driving fast, whatever, like, it, it has no use for me whatsoever. Okay. Um, looking nice, though, I almost take as, like, a detriment to my car. If you, I mean, I would like a car that doesn't look like garbage, like Homer Simpson's car from The Simpsons. However, at the same time, um, I don't really want a car that attracts that much attention in public. Predominantly just because, uh, I mean, I don't worry it would get keyed or whatever, but it's more like... I don't want people coming up to me and being like, nice Ferrari. I'd be like, yeah, I know. I bought it. I don't want that. I, in, if anything, I desire to be left alone more. I, I desire things that deflect attention as opposed to uh, attracting it. So I wouldn't say that I would not like a Ferrari because I think that's inherently kind of a dishonest sentiment. If you were like, hey, I'll trade you your 2015 Ford Focus for like, you know... A Ferrari Enzo straight up? I'd be like, sure, does it come in automatic? And then they would laugh at me in Italian. I would learn to drive stick for that. But I also might put that thing on Auto Trader, like, less than 48 hours later. And just be like, you know what? Let's just get, like, let's, let's get a nice Volkswagen. I, I could live with that. I could live with a nice Volkswagen. I am begging, by the way. I am begging this run. Give me something better. This is... It's, it's horrible. I don't even want Stopwatch. Even though Stopwatch is one of the best items in the game. I don't want it. Because I want to have more damage. Don't joker me yet. This, this, could, be a, this could pay huge dividends. We're, the, the whole last run was 23 minutes long. We're at 16 and a half minutes. We're on the third floor, dude! That's insanity! <laughs> Help me! Not you again! Again? It's the same champion! At least we got bombs this time. This is, if anything, is kind of my revenge. Now, I'm just trying to... Th we, we do have a reroll on the shop, so let's go down there and try that on for size. Um, we really don't want magic fingers, because our, our damage is the problem here. Trinket smelter is great, but we kind of need, like... We're, we're really fishing for, to be honest with you, blue candle, red candle, like, something on the on the absurd degree. I'll tell you what, I, I will take black candle, even over steam sale, then maybe getting black candle here. Um, no curses is going to help us out a lot, if, if only psychologically. That was a really nice bomb on that one. But you gotta focus on the positives when you see him, right? Help me. And I'm just gonna say the obvious. Thank God that we got, um... Oh my word, dude. <laughs> Thank God we got Pyro. <laughs> I just... How many different, like, low rolls can you get in one run? I'm not complaining because, like, our HP is good. So, like, I, I feel weird complaining about it even though I've been sort of endlessly complaining about it. But, like, you know, hey, you got a Joker card. Oh, it's red chests that only contain pills with nothing in them. 
Hey, you know, you you beat the boss. You got an HP upgrade. You already got a bunch of HP. Your real problem is DPS. You know, hey, you got it. Well, actually, our shop was pretty good for us. Hey, you got Diplopia, but there's nothing of value you can use it for. Etc. Etc. Okay, another Joker card is very nice. Let, let's let's focus on the positive. I'm. It's it's more. I don't want to say I'm not tilted because I think that clearly that would be a lie. The lie detector test has determined that was a lie. However. What I would say instead is that our tiltedness hopefully is now reaching a point where, to be honest with you, I'm just entertained. And, uh, I, I'm just at this point really trying to see what's next. Put a meatball down my leg, make me think my sack ripped open. Cake batter in my pants. You know, you get the rest. It's, it's from I think you should leave. I would love a shoop to whoop. I'll take it. Look, flush. Our run is so absolutely disgustingly weird right now that flush is pretty good for us. I'm not ashamed to admit it. You know what? I will use this. Ah, uh, I forgot it got used twice. And the very last bomb of all the bombs hit us, but we traded a spirit hard for a tarot card. Would not recommend. You know, like, this is where we're at. I'm using bombs to blow up fires. It's like half laziness and half like just get me out of here. Mans is losing his mind. Look, you you're not a problem for me. I eat pieces of crap like you for breakfast. This run is going to be like as long as a mouth Mario Maker video and that's that's very scary to me. What I'm pinning my hopes and dreams on right now is the idea that we will eventually get a deal with the devil. This one's probably going to be Krampus, so we'll just accept that. And then maybe after that, they'll give us, like, the shovel. But following that, there will be no choice but the game being forced to give us items that are actually good. And uh, when that happens, oh, I'm going to make you pay. Every bit of frustration that you have paid to me is coming back to you. With interest. Not a lot because it's illegal to charge that much right now because of the corona stuff. But like, with enough to have made it worth my while. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. 6.5 interest compounded monthly. 6.5 No refund on your purchase price 6.5 And then you, you, you get it Um you, you understand I mean, I don't know even know why we would blow this up now that I think about it Nothing in there really works for us Nothing in there really provides us with that much value Kick this one down here, please. I I will admit, psychologically, this run is is a real test for me. I'm going through some stuff right now, not in real life, exclusively in the digital realm, but I'm just I, I I'm begging you. Look, here's what I'm gonna say about this run right now, okay? If you have the audacity, the cojones. To give me this little damage. Match it. By giving me almost no HP as well, you coward. At least, like, you know, make my miserable doubly entertaining. Instead of just, well, it takes you a long time to kill enemies, but you yourself are essentially immortal. It's a deal with the devil. It's pentagram. Is is good. Like, is is not bad. Let's start there, but it's also still not great because our rate of fire is horrible, but... <laughs> now this is a spicy one. What do you think about this? I think we do take it. Even though our HP is a real strong suit for us.
I think this is going to be one of the very rare times we're going to tap out Pyro. Like, that should be an achievement in this game. But don't don't get twisted up too much here. You know, we, we, everything's going... Okay. We still have... Well, first off, now we have a guppy item. And we have nine lives to work with that. Whether we use them all, who cares? You know? We, we don't have to worry about that for the time being. Our damage is probably approaching the standard at which you would expect it to be at the start of a run. At the start of an average Eden run, I should say. Thank you, Host Hat. I appreciate that. So, you know, it's not all bad. It's, it's also, like, not in any way good. But it's not all bad. Or whatever. So, there's big plays here. Flush, thank you so much for your service. You're, you're doing incredible stuff. I am using my bombs because to pick up a card of some merit could change our fortunes quite drastically. Like an Emperor card, for example, that allows us to skip one level of the womb. Oh, baby. One makes you larger. Friends till the end. This... Please do not play this seed. This seed offers nothing. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm just leaning into it now, but like, at the same time, this scene is reverse... Or this... That one's on me. This seed is like reverse engineered to destroy your enjoyment of this video game. It plays to every single one of the game's weaknesses and none of its strengths. It... There's no entertainment value. May God have mercy on your soul. Now here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna take a deep breath. And we're going to say, it is what it is, okay? What we're going to do is just focus on what we can control, which is our ability to uh, dodge. Shooting is whatever. You just point at the enemy and keep tapping, right? Shooting is what it is. Dodging is of the utmost importance. So we're going to keep that alive. We are going to pray to whatever, you know, force for good is out there. That we get a good <laughs> item on this floor. Like, just a single tears upgrade, and I'm on a ride. You're toxic, I'm slipping under. Oh my god, we can actually kill enemies in less than 20 shots. Oh! I hate you. Look, I'm not going to mess with you. It's legitimately potentially a problem here. Like this this could be a super train wreck. It's just question marks. It's <laughs> It's just question marks. Okay, this this is for all the marbles. Thank God for flush, dude. Anytime you find yourself saying that, you've got to run with some real Stockholm Syndrome going on. Dad's Key offers essentially... Well, you know what? This is where you go to Google. Does Dad's Key open devil deals? Dad's Key will open... The devil room or angel room. Okay. That's where we're at then. That's where we're at. Flush, I do appreciate your, your your hard work in our time of need. Oh, what a surprise. We, we needed uh, a benefit, and we got a mini boss. It's real surprising to me that that would... I can't believe that would come to pass. Well, what are the odds? By the way, Depths 1. Depths 1, by the way. We are on the Depths 1. All I'm going to say as well... Is if this thing freaking lied to me, I may alt F4 this game into the stratosphere. I probably won't, but I might consider Windows key, CMD, Isaac.exe, D E L E T E. Probably not. Probably, I'm probably not gonna do that though. But, like, there's a chance. Okay, it's Gish. Which is good, because I was just thinking that um, one thing this run could really use 
is a familiar that really just accomplishes essentially nothing for us. So thank you, Gish. You, you've really shown up in my time of need. So I would, of course, prefer not to get hit there. Did you see the dodge we had to do to make it happen, though? He's, he do be jumping, though. How are you not dead? Your HP is zero. Okay. So I'm hopeful we're going to get a good item here. Oh, wait. It's Gish. We did get a deal with the devil. And we've already seen it. That's right. That, that one's on me. I'm willing to admit that one's on me. Okay, this next floor is essentially, if there were marbles, this would be all of them. If you catch my drift. This would be a great time for a full run reroll. It, it's a great time for almost any assortment of consumables as well, just to be clear. Um, I am willing to fight on this room, because if I die, it means nothing to me. Okay, we know that one of those is a legitimate question mark pill. The other one is a luck upgrade. Ladies and gentlemen, our stats have finally hit record levels. I, I did not intentionally throw that life, just to be clear. That's just, that's just how that went down. Okay, we got... This is like... Don't panic. We have cards. It's just like... It's just so bad. <laughs> I know I keep saying it. You're probably like, stop saying it. If you just get positive, you're going to win. I don't believe there's any scientific evidence in favor of that ridiculous claim. If that's what you believe, if that's what gets you through the day, then that's what gets you through the day. But uh, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily believe in that malarkey. Um... And we've done it, ladies and gentlemen. Achievement unlocked. We have used every single bomb from Pyro. There are those who said it couldn't be done. What are we begging for? What are we praying for on this run now? Um, a second Pyro would go a long way. I don't think that is possible. How about a single tears upgrade? Yeah, that's the ticket. A single tears upgrade. Boy, that'd be nice. That would really hit the spot right now. I mean, I'm just like, I gotta be honest, we gotta pace ourselves with banter. We haven't even hit the halfway point of the run yet. This, this might have to be a two-part Isaac episode. My, like, I'm just being sincere. I got like a half an hour until I'm supposed to be on Check the Wire Live. I don't know if it's possible for me to finish this episode in a half hour. I don't, I don't know if it can be done. Oh, you're up there. Hello. Still up there, I'm assuming? Oh, there, hello. One more time then, huh? Okay, sure. My god, he's done it. And a golden key is our reward. What am I complaining about, dude? Oh wait, I know why I'm complaining. Because I have dad's freaking key! Please just be dead. Drop a bomb. I, I just come like. Okay, this this is where we stop complaining. Because this run now it has access to an item room. I'm I'm begging you, mom's knife. I'm begging you. I'm <laughs> I'm just, I'm just begging you for anything at this point. I don't mind, like, losing these lives does not matter that much. 
Can you just at least give me a dollop of hope? Oh, hope's an extra 275, actually. Really? I come to you in my time of need? You try to charge me guacamole prices for a little bit of human decency? It's an item. It's an item with some value, no less. The slightest glimmer. And I, I do mean slight, because with low rate of fire, this is still very, very spotty. But the slightest amount of human empathy and emotion has been given to me, I will never forget it. Until you give me a room with almost nothing of value, then I'll forget it quite easily. We 100% desperately, without a doubt, need to go to our shop on this floor. If it's super greed, we'll talk about uninstalling the game forever, perhaps. But, um, you know what? <laughs> that's just... I don't do that room. At this point in my Isaac career, that's a room that I'm... Okay, we will be doing that room then. Um, it's, it, it's better, I'll admit, it's better now. Um... It was worse when these guys were all champions. My god. I, I'm... Considering how many lives we've lost on this floor, you're gonna be like... I don't believe that you're about to say this, but it's true. I actually now have hope. The, the thing that gives me hope is static tears. If we can get a tears upgrade and then like Abaddon... We're not far off. Though it pains me to say... After all the frustrations we've had prior to this point, we're not as far off as we used to be. Static tiers are good enough to, like, you can't build a, a, a franchise, you know, dynasty out of this item, but you can at least build something half decent. We can build a playoff contender. Don't forget, you got Ace of Hearts. We we would love to just a reroll machine in here so we could buy as many Spirit Hearts as possible. Oh man, come on, come on. Okay, so you st <laughs> you start here. You blow this up. You know what? We sh oh, we don't have a reroll machine. That's that's true. Um, you check this. I think you do have to take this. Um, because it is items on the next floor. I know Dad's key was there to give us the deal with the devil. I'm putting my hopes in this run to give us what we need. Which in this case is a a tears upgrade. <laughs> Please. And and also to, to win on this 17% devil deal chance. Oh my god, just give me a tears upgrade. Do you know how much I've worked on this run to try to make this happen? We're, we're hitting absolutely disgusting levels. A little bit of Samson's lock. A little less action. Um, give me this. Okay, okay, we're in. This is an important fight. It's regular mom. The most important thing to do is dodge. That's automatic. Dodging has to happen. Short of the dodge is working, or after the dodge is working, getting some real damage done via static tears would be nice. Unfortunately, like, our shot does not live long enough to really get good damage done there. I really hate to do this. I think I might legitimately have to hit you with a 2B continued. And, and I'll, I'll take very little guff over this. Just because, like... You know, I've recorded 3,000 Isaac runs or something ridiculous like that. This one, it, it may well not be the worst, but it might be the most... The combination of, like, lowest damage and hardest enemies and hardest rooms and hardest floors and etc, etc. I mean, 40 minutes to get to mom is, is, for my money, unprecedented.
I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. I just don't know what to say. How do you... Can you save and quit a run in Isaac? I've never done it. I want you to know that when we do this... <laughs> it is not clickbait. I'm not trying to, you know, bend you over for another couple Isaac views. It's really rather that, like, this is just a once in an, in an Isaac career situation. Where I'm, I'm just sort of losing my mind and, I, and I'm at a loss. I started this with more than an hour of, of time. We're just not going to get there. So we didn't get the deal with the devil, which is fine. Um, so I think we're going to head down here. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to push it forward a little bit, but I am going to send my good friend Daniel Giesling a very quick message. And I'm just going to say, Hey, dude, I'll be like... 10 to 15 late super unprofessional but just being being honest i have a once in a lifetime trash isaac run i started recording with an hour to spare and it might stretch so we're going to use this because we need it right now oh my lord it's a tears upgrade <laughs> Now, we're still at kind of trash levels, but I am at least rejuvenated, okay? Like, I, I now am like, I can take a deep breath and I can say, you know what? I think it was the right decision. Even though we didn't get the deal with the devil, and I, I assume that Dad's key would have given it to us because we looked it up. Even though we didn't get the deal with the devil, I feel like we made a right decision. I never say the right decision, or I try not to at least, because... Uh, you never know if it's the right decision or not, right? You know, there, there could be a writer decision somewhere around, but... This at least has taken us to, like... The average damage of what a run would look like... At the very beginning of the game. Um, and it's actually slightly above that, for sure, but... Hey, you're forgetting that Abel exists! Yeah, I mean, we're getting static tier triggers off of Abel, but it's still, like, pretty bad. Every bomb is worth so much more, though. Dude, I would have killed for some freaking mapping, just for the record. Okay, I'm just, I'm so happy, at least, that uh, Pandora's box gave us something. And this is not that bad of a, uh, oh, well, that sucked. But this is not that bad of a big room. Like, I don't know, I don't think it's worth using a bomb here. We shouldn't have been hit. We got an 80% chance of a deal with the devil. I think that's our, our win condition for now. We got to let the game be the bad guy, okay? For now, all we have to do... No, we definitely do want spacebar items. For now, all we have to do is get that deal with the devil. Or at least get the chance of the deal with the devil. Because we can't control whether or not we'll actually get it. And um, let the game either give us crap for the deal with the devil or let the game be the good guy and give us something incredible like small rock here two spirit hearts still very very valuable indeed oh my god i can't believe it i have a smile on my face and we we didn't get too much that's how i know i wasn't being unreasonable we didn't we didn't really get a whole heck of a lot here to change our position okay that that was just idiotic of me okay let's let's not be so giddy <laughs> Let's get back to brass tacks here. You got a little too excited there, temporarily. I am begging the Lord above, do not give me the matriarch. Sister, this is still a tricky boss. But it's not as one that we'd consider lost. Oh, gosh. No! One of you has to go. The other one always tells the truth. Just one spirit heart, dude. Just one spirit heart. Just carry that to the next floor. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. No Krampus. Uh, we have to take it. We still have HP to work with. Oh my word, dude. 
I mean, to be honest, we would also like golden uh, chests, so this is okay. I've, for once in my life, all I've wanted is a reroll room. All you had to do was give me a reroll room. And you have spit in my face again and again ad nauseum. I, by the way, even if we win this run, this is not a, an, a win for me and Isaac. This is a win for me exclusively as a player and as a human being. I've made my mistakes on this run, but I was not given the tools needed to win. You know, this is like, we're building a mountain out of mashed potatoes here. Guppy's head. That's what we're looking for. A golden chest with a guppy's head. So in theory, I think that as long... I mean, this is like being on the chest right now. <laughs> in theory, we're just standing far enough back here that, you know, there's leapers. Sure, but what are you going to do? You, you can't stop the leapers from existing. We, we really have very simple tactics. We have one advantage on this run right now, and that's our slightly higher than average range. So we stand back with our below average DPS, but we hit at a level that the enemy cannot hit us at, and we continue onwards. I knew, I saw that shot coming in, however slowly, but I was like, we're trapped in this little area here. This one's very spiced, cause like, dude, we would kill to get a spirit heart and just like, to, to, to have the chance Thank you. To have the chance... Thank you. To get the 40% deal with the devil on this one? Oh my, dude. Oh my. It would, it would be worth everything. Okay, you just... Don't do anything. Don't do anything I wouldn't do and don't do anything. Mom's fingernail. No th or mom's toenail, I should say. No, thank you. I don't even know what hit me there, um, but don't get demoralized. Just one of these guys left, you're taking it room by room. Just had to wait for the creep to dissipate. <laughs> sure. We knew, we knew it wasn't a truly awful pill, because the... We've already, we've made ourselves abreast of what the question mark pill is. What about a secret room Black Lotus? <laughs> I mean, it, lost in all this is the fact that we still have to beat Mom. This is like, a, the thing is tilting me the most, and it's... It's not Isaac's fault. This one's not Isaac's fault. Everything else, yes. But this, no. We have to. We have to try. Um, the thing is tilting me the most is I hate making other people late. I'm... I'm... Notoriously, like... I know you're like, sometimes you show up for stream like one minute late. True. Okay? But for the most part, I am, I'm a very... On... Uh, on time, punctual individual. To start a run with more than enough time for a below average run to finish, but still be late makes me look bad, and it makes it look like I'm coming up with an excuse, right? So I, I just hate that, but we can't allow that to let us rush. You know, we have an obligation to the streak and to the viewers to make this happen. Even if we got nothing of value there and the game clearly doesn't respect us as much as I respect it. Okay, you know what? I, I see a little silhouette of a rock and it's tinted, tinted. We got Mr. Resack. That is pretty decent, but it's got to pay out soon. Gotta pay out, 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 pay out soon. It really must pay out with the day guys rule. The rule. The rule. See, that was not so bad. That was not so bad. Send me. At least we're moving, dude. Um, you know I would love to go to the... Um, okay, you know what? I've decided we're not moving on that one. The secret room is not there. We know that for a fact. I hate this. 
It's a recipe for both misery and disaster. We got through it. These guys, you gotta be careful, they shoot quickly. That's their thing, they shoot quickly. After all that, you have the... <laughs> you have the audacity. Nade! The tenacity to do that to me. Steady, steady. Steady! The D's have been steadied. You know you got hands coming down from the sky. A s oh, that was not gonna find it for one. You really willing to use your bomb here? Yes. Yes, I am. 15% chance of a deal with the devil. Oh my god, dude. Just, just kill me. Like, at this point... You, have you ever hear the expression, uh, don't play with your food? Trying to reconcile the fact that I don't lose on quarantine with the fact that this run is quite clearly a loss. It's, it's forcing... It's forcing me to face some uncomfortable truths about myself. Just shoot, thank you, thank you. We got the 15% chance! It's Krampus! Oh my, my freaking word, dude. I mean, I gotta, I gotta go. I, gotta, I don't know what to do. I'll just leave Isaac open in the background, I suppose? All right, um... I mean, okay, I hate to do it. How to save and quit Isaac run. Is it possible to save in the Binding of Isaac? Eight years ago. No, it's not possible. How to save the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Yes, it's saved in your current room. That's awesome, thanks. The game auto-saves every time you enter a floor. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. I'll be back with part two. Uploaded at the exact same time. But see ya. See ya in a bit. Who would have thought?